Hello viewers, this is Not Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be replacing the radiator, shroud, and cooling fan assembly on this 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. The problem with the cooling fan is a bearing on the fan motor wears out and causes a lot of vibration and noise. This repair applies to 2013 to 2017 Nissan Pathfinder and also the Infiniti QX60. Now this Nissan Pathfinder you're looking at is only four years old with 38,000 miles. I definitely would have expected the fan to last longer, but if you check on the internet, this fan issue has been happening to a lot of Nissan Pathfinder owners. If your vehicle is under warranty, definitely take it to a dealer and get it fixed under warranty. If you're out of warranty like my vehicle, the repair cost at the dealer, including parts and labor, is about $1,100. Now in this video, I will do the repair myself, and doing it yourself will cost less than $200. Now make sure you watch the entire video, as I will show you step by step on how to remove the cooling fan assembly and reinstall the new one. Let me first show you what the fan noise sounds like, so you know what to look for. As you can hear, this fan has some grinding noise, and also because the bearing is worn out, it doesn't spin smoothly, and you'll see a lot of vibration. Now depending on how worn out the bearings are, the sound can come and go, or it can get louder and louder and louder. First thing you need to do is disconnect the battery terminals. I'll first disconnect the negative terminal. This is a 10 millimeter nut. Next, remove the positive terminal. It's held on by a 10 millimeter nut. Now remove the battery clamp that you see right here. It's held down by two 10 millimeter nut. I'll use a 10 millimeter deep socket to remove this. You also need to remove this metal bracket right here. There's a 10 millimeter nut right here. And a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Now I can remove this clamp and the battery can be removed. Also remove this insulation, remove this battery tray. Next remove this air intake box. There's a Phillips screw on this side and another one on the other side. Lift this up. There's a plastic peg here that goes into this rubber bushing you need to release. Next, remove this plastic engine cover. It's held in by four clips, two at the front and two underneath the cover. Now, if you have a 2013 to 2016 Nissan Pathfinder, then it's held in by four bolts. On this 2017, all I have to do is pull this up and the cover will come off. Now, if you look over here, there's a grounding strap right here. Go ahead and remove this. So now this grounding strap is loose. Push down the clip at the top and bottom. Right here is the upper radiator hose. You'll need to release this clip holding this hose. Push down on the clip. Next use a strap or rope and you want to wrap it around the radiator hose and pull this back. You can hook it to the brake reservoir bracket here. This silver box you see here is a fan control module. First disconnect the connectors on this control module. So you need to disconnect three connectors right here. With the first connector, push down on the tab right here. With the second connector, you want to lift up on the tab. So here you want to lift up this tab right here. Now the last connector has a clip facing the front. To make it easier, I'm going to go ahead and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding down this control module because we do have to remove this anyways. Now 
Make sure you don't drop the bolt. Remove the other bolt at the bottom. Now you can press a clip on the last wiring harness. And here's a look at this connector. You want to push down on this tab right here. Now to give you enough room to slide the cooling fan assembly out this way, you will have to disconnect the two connectors on the TCM and the one connector on the VTC module. For this connector, push down on the tab. Slide out. For this connector, there's a latch at the bottom. You want to push down on the middle section at the bottom here, and that'll allow you to lift this handle and slide it up. Slide the latch all the way up, and then this connector will come out. I moved the camera, so right now you're looking at the top of the two modules. The right side are the connectors I removed, and I still have to remove this one right here on the left side. This also has a handle you see right here. Push the plastic tab in the middle right here, and then this latch will go up. Slide the latch all the way up, and now this connector will come out. Right here is the air box. Go ahead and remove this Phillips screw. And then lift up on this peg right here and move it aside. With the connectors disconnected, you now need to remove four bolts. There's one here at the corner, this one, this one, and also this one. These four bolts are 13 millimeter. With the bolts removed and the air box lifted up, now you can move this whole assembly. This will give you more room to slide the entire fan assembly out. I'm also going to remove these three bolts that's holding down the tray. Release a clip for the negative terminal wire. Now you see this big wiring bundle? Go ahead and release this clip that's held onto the bracket. Go ahead and open up the clip. And then you can pull the wiring harness out of the clip. Now looking at the fan assembly, on each side there's a T30 bolt you need to remove. There's one here. And the other one is right here at this corner. For this, you'll need a T30 bit. Here's what the screw looks like. Now go ahead and remove the other one. It's a little tight here, but take your time and you can remove the screw. I'm also going to remove these two screws on these two grounding straps on the bracket. Now everything we're doing so far is to make room for the assembly to come out. Otherwise you're going to have a very hard time getting it out. On this wiring harness that goes to the fan control module, I'm also going to release a clip that's holding down this wiring harness to the fan assembly. Now you're going to have to push the AC line back a bit so it'll clear. There's a tie wrap here that's catching on the fan assembly. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. There's a plastic post in the middle here. You want to watch that? Now the fan assembly is out. So the fan that's having a problem is the one on the left side here. Now if you spin it, it's not too noisy, but when I rock it, there's a lot of play in this. And if you pay attention to the edge right here, you'll see 
how much it moves. Whereas on this one, there's no movement. The replacement fan I got here is made by the company TYC, and I bought this on Amazon for 170. If you look at the review, they're all four to five stars, so this should work fine for the Nissan Pathfinder. The fan assembly comes in this box. It has its own fan control module. You want to use the one that comes with this fan, okay? Don't put the original one back in. Here's a look at the front side. And if you compare this to the one that came out of the vehicle, if I push on this, there's zero play on this. It's very smooth. Now one thing nice about the TYC fan assembly is it already comes with these rubber grommets at the bottom. There are three of them. One, two, and three. If you buy a different fan assembly that does not come with these rubber grommets, you want to transfer the old ones onto the new fan. Also, if you look at the original fan, there's a foam surround and it's not on the new one. So I picked up some self-adhesive rubber foam, you see right here. This three quarter inch wide by seven sixteenth inch thick by 10 feet long. And I'll stick this around the side. That's it. Before I install it, I want to give you a side-by-side -side look. The bottom one's a new one, and the top one is the old one. Before you install the new fan, go ahead and remove the control module. This will help with installation so you can fit this into the vehicle. There are three 10 millimeter bolt you need to remove. Now disconnect the connector. And here's a look at the control module. Now I just want to show you the rubber grommets need to sit in these holes that you see right here. There's one, there's the other one, and there's one more at the far end. Now carefully slide the fan assembly back in. And again, make sure those three grommets are seated in properly. Installation is reverse of how we took it up. We installed a 2T30 bolt holding down the fan assembly. Now I'm going to reinstall the fan control module. Plug in the two connectors. And then install the three screws. On this wiring harness, reinsert the clip. And plug this into the fan control module. Reinstall this metal tray. Reinstall this bracket. Next, I'll put the wiring harness back into the clip. Put the battery post back on. Reinstall the air box. Reinstall the screw. Reinstall these connectors. Push the latch down, make sure it's locked in. Reinstall the two ground wires. Install the battery tray. Reattach a clip for the negative wire. 
release a strap for the radiator hose, reinstall the clip, reinstall the clip for this ground wire, and then connect the ground wire, reinstall the battery, install the insulator, install the battery strap, Install this bracket. At this time, double check everything. Make sure everything's connected properly. Reinstall the engine cover. Reinstall the air intake box. Reattach the positive terminal. Now reattach the negative terminal. Now go into your vehicle and start it up. With the AC on, you can see both fans are on. For those of you who own a Nissan Pathfinder or a QX60, if you run into a problem with a fan assembly and you want to replace it, I hope you found this video to be helpful. For a list of parts and tools used in this video, check out the links below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.